Hi, welcome to this quick introduction video to Assimilate LifeLux. Assimilate LifeLux is an advanced life creating application that runs on macOS and on Windows. It supports LUT boxes from Flanders, Teradec and TV Logic, as well as VideoIO from AJA, Bluefish444 and Blackmagic for workflows up to 8K in and out. LifeLux ships with a very powerful yet easy to use color management. You can choose whether you want to work in the native color space of each camera connected to the system, or whether you want your grades to be based on ACES or any other color space. Furthermore, you can set up your monitors, LUT boxes, your metadata that shows up on each and every report exported from LifeLux, including your own company logo. You can set up your reference recording and also your grading panel of choice. As you can see here, we have set up three channels in LifeLux right now. The first channel is a reference frame tied to our LUT box. The second channel is a live SDI capture from a Panasonic camera, which goes out of our AJA IO 4K. Lastly, we have loaded a reference clip to emulate a green screen shoot. You can switch through all these camera channels using the great controller here, which also lets you fill in day, scene, shot and take for the current grade. On the far right, you can display the metadata stack, which displays right now all the metadata that we're capturing through the SDI channel of the Panasonic camera. From the top menu bar, you can call tools like your scopes or a magnifying glass to inspect pixel values. At the bottom, we have our grading tools. As you can see, the primary menu contains the known lift gamma gain wheels. So does the numeric, but also we have parameters like S-curve, which allows us to add contrast without causing any clipping in the image. We have curves like the known luminance curves, but also hue versus saturation curves, for instance, which lets us pick in the image, drag up and down to modify the curve and hence the selected color. Same for the coloring mapper inside the vectors menu. The coloring mapper allows us to desaturate certain colors or shift them towards other colors. In the LUT menu, we can load surprise lookup table. In this folder, for instance, I have three lookup tables. Let me choose the first one. Using the arrow buttons down here, I can easily cycle through all the lookup tables in this folder. The drop down next to them gives me direct access to choose a different LUT. Now let's select our B cam with the live SDI signal and take a look at the texture effects LiveLux supplies us with. We can add a grain effect, which lets us dial in its strength and various other parameters. We have highlight bloom, diffusion and also a vignette to apply. Let's select our C-cam with the reference clip. And let's for a second assume that this is indeed a live SDI signal that we're capturing. Going to the Kia, it just takes us two clicks to replace the green screen with our own background. Click load and select your background clip. Now this key doesn't seem too good, so let's refine it. Choose the pig and color plus option and sample more of the background color. Like such. Looking at the alpha channel, this looks pretty good. By the way, I'm doing this whole demo on a 2012 MacBook Pro. Back to our ACAM. If we want to compare different cameras, we can just do so by hitting S or D on our keyboard to jump into split or dual view. On the right side, we can for instance just disable the grade. In split view, this would look like this. 
but we can also choose our right side to display a completely different channel, like our green screen shot. And if we enable the grade, we can see it fully comped with a background. Lastly, our gallery provides us access to different looks that we can apply to our image, or references, which we can load if we are in dual view, just by dragging and dropping it onto the right side. Last but not least, in the grade controller, we not only have access to our grade history, which we can sort on scene and take, but we can also export reports, like for instance a day report, like so, which we can then send to production. The report contains our company logo, all the people that need to be named, as well as an overview of all grades that we created on that day, and also for each scene and take, the corresponding screenshots of before and after, which grade files have been created, what the color space environment was, and so on. In case of our live SDI channel, the grade report also holds all the metadata that has been captured via SDI. This is it for a quick introduction to Simulate Live Looks. If you want to know more, visit us under www.simulateinc.com and download a free and fully functional 30-day trial. Thanks for watching, goodbye.